advised you are entering United Colony space. Please maintain course and prepare to be scanned. You're cleared to land. Enjoy your stay at Sidonia.
levels are bottoming out. Faces passing through here. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. You in the service? I know the feeling, but. Uh... You just get so used to losing people. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially when it's missing. But... <clears throat> 
He has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but if I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? Yeah, I'll get your point. Maybe. All right, I give up. Just trying to earn a living here. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. Just singing songs, all that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? Fine. We'll make do. Ours isn't for everybody. Yes? systems to keep your ship up and running. No more than the average crew person's salary. Why is that? For you, I consider a discount. Yeah, I hope so. That doesn't mean I'm a pushover. That's the best offer you're going to get from me. Great! I'm ready to go. Heading there now. Working the deep mines. That's Sometimes I wish I did. Hello. Fancy seeing you here. Mars is rapid resources, which means. Seriously, I always tell my mates. They're pulling rocks out of the ground, not building spaceships. Welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. Name's Trevor, mining director for the Deimos Mining Project here in scenic underground Sidonia. I could spare a minute or two to chat, so long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. Oh, that! Oh, nothing to worry about. We do fracking on Mars with subterranean particle detonations. Those announcements are just to let people know when to expect them. Now, you probably felt the rumble when the detonations actually go off. That's all it is. Not too bad, eh? Yeah, no worries, mate. I can totally see how it'd be odd if you're not used to it. Just sit down, or be sure you're within reach of something to hold on to if the... Argos, huh? 
Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great, but yeah. Unfortunately, all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless... Maybe you could help me out with a job. Off the books. Great! I promise it's nothing that'll get anyone in any kind of trouble. See, you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. Okay, glad you're still on board. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some more. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. When you've got enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. This is a courtesy reminder. Born to low gravity on Mars, a fall. I can't imagine being stuck down here. Hey, there'll be plenty of time for shooting later. is a little trickier. Our director of mining operations, Peter Brennan, fired his last assistant over a month ago. Peter's the only one who can approve the order for new equipment, and unfortunately, he's useless without an assistant. I think I've got a surefire way for you to get that job. Then you, as his assistant, can get him to sign off on the approval. got that industrial court know-how, do you? Then, you know how this is all gonna go down. Go to the Deimos office in orbit, apply for the job, answer some questions about kissing the boss's ass. It's mostly BS, but it's gotta be done. Doesn't matter what you say, as long as you don't say anything too bonkers. We'll talk about how to secure the job after you get that application squared away. You're jumping through a lot of hoops to get those miners the equipment that they need.
Hi, Captain. Good to see you. Glad to be a part of the team. So we should watch our step. When humanity finally left the cradle of Earth behind, the United Colonies was born. Intrepid explorers and valiant colonists used Deimos starships to venture into space. When the UC defended itself from the Crimson Fleet, House Varun, and the Free Star Collective, it was Deimos' state-of-the-art technology that was her sword. The United Colonies and Deimos Starship... Deimos builds some of the toughest ships in the settled systems. That's probably why the UC Navy continues to contract with them to this day.
Trust me, this is the best shop. Okay, now we need to ensure you get hired. Basically, we'll need to make sure you're the only choice. To do that, you'll need to get access to the HR terminal in the corporate office upstairs on the main level. If you delete the other applications from the system, you'll be a shoe in That's the spirit? Believe me. By the way, the HR password is password spelled backwards, which Tia thinks is pretty clever. Surprised everyone doesn't know a password on it. Anyway, should be pretty easy. Good luck. enough work to complete I have did you know Deimos makes the majority of the ships for the UC Navy if you ask me that's a hell of a lucrative contract unless you're a Deimos employee
Trust me, this is the... And I can say that I've got some good news for you. I just saw the company message go out that you've been hired as Peter's assistant. <laughs> Congratulations. Next step should be easy. Just go to work for Peter, and when you get access to his terminal messages, you'll see my request. All you've got to do is approve that request, and we'll be right on with it. Then we can get that new equipment and show corporate how it's done. The city of Sidonia is proud to be a pillar of support for the United Colonies. Be your local Marine recruiter if you wish. If you're here to broker a deal, oh, I don't You're finally back. I feel like you've been gone for ages. Do you know how tough this job is without an assistant? Good. Now, let's make... You look a bit different than I remembered. Did you go to Enhance? No. Now I remember. They told me they sent me someone new. Anyway, when they told me how poorly you did on your application questions, I had my doubts. But at least you showed up on time, so maybe there's hope. Well enough, Chit Chat. Let's get to work. Excellent. Some initiative. I love it. That's something my previous assistant lacked. A shipment I ordered has yet to arrive, and I don't know why. Last time this happened, my assistant needed to speak to Governor Hurst. <laughs> I don't know what he has to do with it, but go figure it out and get my shipment for me. I don't know. At first, I thought I had multiple assistants that rotated in and out, but uh, it seems I've only ever had one at a time and they all just stopped showing up. I believe my last assistant was supposed to get me some coffee, but never came back. I honestly wasn't listening to whatever they were crying about. Oh! You're done? A reduced noise ordinance is in effect every night from 2200 hours until low Always nice to kick back at the broken sphere. Ah, hello. Welcome. I don't usually have time to speak with random people off the street, but I'd be happy to help if it's something quick. What can I do for you? Something important, huh? Well, lay it out for me. Well then, you've been quite busy making a name for yourself, haven't you? Heard of you. Of course, how could I not? Interesting. It appears Governor Hurst is well aware of our exploits. If by exploits, you mean what your friend is doing for Sidonia, and not your work for Constellation, Ms. Morgan, you're right on the money. So look, I admire a go-getter like yourself. You're not in trouble, unless you make trouble. And I don't think you're the type. I know you're not really Mr. Brennan's assistant. I don't know exactly what you're up to, but I have little reason to suspect you're up to no good. So let's cut to brass tacks. What can I do for you? Oh, I know exactly what happened to that shipment. However, I suspect Mr. Brennan neglected to tell you that I'm holding it due to his immense backlog of unpaid taxes. Then again, he may be unaware. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll release that shipment for you. But I'm going to need a favor first, since you seem to be adept at keeping quiet. See, my personal spacecraft was stolen, likely by Crimson Fleet pirates. I need someone to find it, then I need that someone to destroy it. Discreetly. I need tight lips on this. Then we have an agreement. I'll send you to the ship's last known location. Remember, not a word of this leaves this room. Someone 
account? Alright, come on board. I hope you've got some extra ship parts for repairs, because we're going to need it to get this thing back to base. over. Consider my curiosity peaked. I didn't think you were a fool. I'm listening. You play your cards right, and maybe you'll figure that out. Hmm. You seem pretty sure of that. Okay, okay. Enough talk. I think I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'll even help you on your way. I have an incriminating letter from Hearst himself. I'm sure it's valuable to an enterprising individual such as yourself. I don't care what you do with it. Rip it up, use it for blackmail, whatever. I'll give it to you. So long as we get to keep this ship. Deal? A shame, but think I should have left. Find anything useful?
You're carrying too many odds and ends. Time to let something go. Hello, Captain.
I might complain about landing here, but I have to admit, there is a sort of hidden beauty to the Martian landscape. Just ask. Yo, hey, what's up? You looking to do some shopping here at the Trade Authority? I'm Monaki. Feel free to ask me anything and I'll do my best to help you out. Cool. That's what we do here. Sounds like a plan. Yo, stay good out there. You see exchange is a great place to buy your weapons. Just make sure to... I sure hope you... It's good to see you. I'm eager to conclude our business together. Did you, uh, take care of my little problem? I'm already giving you what you want, per up. Hmm. Tell you what, but you should know, if I hear any rumors... Good. I'll release Mr. Brennan's shipment to you as promised. I'll even defer his taxes as a little bonus. You really helped me out of this bind. Don't take this the wrong way, but I hope I'm never in need of your help like this again. for a reason. Mining must be a fun job, or else why would we keep getting so many applicants? My shipment, do you have it yet? Ah, yes, I'll take that. 
Now, um, I've probably got some important messages I need you to take care of for me while I, uh, um, attend to some other important matters at hand. You'll need my password. Remember, if you reply to anything, try to mimic my style and speech patterns. You know, for consistency. Hm. Yeah. I wonder what's taking Hank so long. I saw. <laughs> Good work. See? I knew having someone on the inside like that would work out. I've already put it in order for the equipment. I was going to ask you to pick it up for me, but there's a problem. One of my guys, Hank Ferraro, offered to go. I tried to tell him he'd be more useful sticking to his job here, but he insisted, and he was already on his way out before I could stop him. But... <sighs> It shouldn't be taking this long. Just a quick trip to Gagarin and back. I'm concerned. I could use some help with this. Oh, thanks. This is a huge help. You'll be happy to know I actually carved out some of the budget so I can pay you for all of your assistance. We don't currently have much information to go on. I'd suggest checking with Sidonia ship services over at the starboard first. They'd be the last person I know that's seen Hank. It's all I've got without sending you all the way to Gagarin to retrace his steps. Good luck. Sure, you can find something you like. Hmm. Let's see here. Hank. Hank. Known by that name. Oh, wait. Here we go. Henry Farrell. Hank's got to be his nickname. <laughs> Yeah, he's been through here. Took a ship and departed. Actually, it looks like he came back into Mars space recently. But he didn't land here at the spaceport. The ship diverted and landed outside the city a ways. Nothing out of the ordinary. Got a ship and left. Tried and failed to get a discount on fueling up. That's about it. Yeah, something seems off about this. You're probably right that you need to work this out with your boss. Maybe some wires got crossed. Anyway, good luck.
I didn't make a mistake by letting Hank... I wonder what's taking Hank so long. That's a little suspicious. Why would he do that? Moreover, why wouldn't he return with the goods? Something's definitely up. I asked around while you were gone. Some of his co-workers mentioned he's been a little extra, well, Hank lately. In particular, he was cursing up a storm about work and about his co-workers. Said some things that make me think his intentions here were not pure. Anyway, he's not too bright. Maybe he's still here in Sidonia. Check the broken spear. He frequent... Remember, it's most important that we find out where... We've got to do it before we lose track of it, before it gets... And we've got to hope to whatever higher power you believe in that it wasn't jettisoned into space. Questions, huh? Let me buy you a beer first. Oh, what? Can't a guy just be friendly like? Uh, anyway, I seen you talking to Trevor. What's someone like you doing sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? You're right. I didn't want to bring it back, so I took it. I had to. Those guys all think I'm some kind of joke. And I'm stuck with this stupid three-year contract. I can't afford to break it. So, screw Deimos, screw Trevor and all the other miners. Losing that equipment, the last draw for them. Did he tell you that? One last failure in a string of failures to meet quotas. It'll be layoffs for everyone, and I won't owe Deimos a damn credit. It's my plan, and I'm already doing it. How could I? <laughs> you do it too if your co-workers never took you seriously. I'm always showing them how much better I am than them, and all they do is laugh and talk behind my back. They think I don't hear them, but I do. They say I'm a show-off, that I'm not good at what I do. So screw them. This whole planet sucks. Everyone here is a friggin' loser. Hmm. Shit. You could turn me in. I'd be in jail, and then this be all for nothing. Damn it. Fine. You got me. I'll take you to where I stashed it, and we can haul it back. But you better not be lying to me about not telling anyone. Sure, fine. I get it. Just, uh, follow me going outside.
Man, I'm impressed you figured it all out on your own. I thought I was being real careful. It was so easy, right? Boss man Trevor's so loud sometimes, you know? And I got good hearing, so I overheard you all talking about this equipment. I knew what it meant to everyone and how screwed they'd all be without it. And then Trevor just lets me go pick it up because he thought I was showing initiative. <laughs> it, it, it really was uh, the perfect plan. Just a little further. Smell you later. unloaded, save ourselves the hassle of hauling it all back ourselves. Anyway, uh, see it just up ahead? Sorry about all the trouble. not be lying about what you said back at the bar. All right, that's enough. Now face me, so I don't have to shoot you in the back. No, we got a problem we can't resolve. Namely, you know too much. Do they? Oh, maybe I need to rethink what I'm doing. Well, when you say it like that, maybe you got a point. Damn it. You're right. What the hell am I doing? This is freaking stupid, even for me. This whole idea, I, I barely thought it through. I, I just acted because it seemed like my only shot. I really don't want to hurt anyone. I'm in too deep and... I don't know what to do. I know I don't deserve it, but will you help me? Please? Uh, 
I don't like it, but you might be onto something. If I come clean, maybe it'll go easy on me, especially if you tell them what happened here. Fine, I'll do it. It's the right thing to do. And hey, at least I'll probably void my contract. Gotta look on the bright side, I guess. That was a smart decision. We couldn't simply let him walk away from that situation. at your service. If you have a security-related concern, bring it up to me. It's true. I stole the brand new mining equipment that my boss ordered for us. But now that I've had some sense talked into me, I realize how shitty that is. I know it was a dick move, and I'll serve whatever sentence you've got for me. You can confirm this? Again, I'm real sorry, but I'll do the time and make things right. It's rare that we get a criminal turning himself in like this. And the fact that there's no real damage to speak of is going to help his case. I'm sure those will both be points in his favor. Good work, and thanks. All right, let's get you booked and locked up. You've already done enough to mess things up for yourself. Don't make it any harder. Yeah, I know. Down that cell will give me some time to ponder your life choices. Stay away from the sixth circle unless you're a minor. Or Keep at on least, the straight don't narrow, and there to won't be anything, anything to worry to about. You. We'll investigate the matter and hold him accountable if we find anything. Depending on the judgment, his sentence could be anything from a few weeks in that cell over there to years in an off world facility. Oh, man. Well, it ain't drugs if that's what you're worried about. You'll notice it happens to miners and anyone else that's been down in the red Martian dust too long. Nothing to worry about any more than anyone else around here. Used to be a sign someone was ready for the red devils. And some of the ex-red devils still think they're a big deal. They ain't as badass as they think they are. And any that do have a chip on their shoulder and cause trouble, well, I'll put them in their place. Not if I've got anything to say about it. For real, though. I don't know if it's because everyone's too busy working, or if it's because of the military presence, but crime's pretty low. Don't let me keep you. Welcome to Sidonia Security. I'm Commander Vincent Woodard. 
chief of planetary security and former head of the Red Devils program here on Mars. I tend to deal with security at a high governmental level, whereas my associate Booth over there handles day-to-day -day security issues. So if you're looking to report a minor crime or misdemeanor, see him. But if there's something I can help you with, feel free to ask. That's a pretty serious accusation. I assume you have proof of these alleged illicit activities? Hmm. Let me take a look at that. Well, this doesn't look good for Hearst. I'll say that. You did the right thing by coming to me. I'll take it from here. The United Colonies thanks you for your vigilance. Be careful down near the mines, and enter any active sites at your own risk. Any luck? I'm looking forward to hearing all about this. Yeah, I heard. Booth left me a message saying that Hank stole the goods, but then he had a change of heart and turned himself in. Crazy. I knew Hank was problematic, but I never suspected he'd do something like this. At least he had the good sense to come clean about it before any damage was done. I'll take it from here and get the equipment sorted out. Here's the credits I promised. I'm also throwing in some ore to repay you for what you got us before, and then some. We'll be able to recoup it in no time with these new tools. Thanks for all your help. We couldn't have done it without you. Ain't easy, but it pays the bills.
<laughs> Completely devoted to a deity they call the Great Serpent. The devourer of the unbelievers. I'll let you guess what happens if they spot us. No, no other ship readings in the area. And I doubt they'd be so calm if a vanguard had flown by recently. No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. Easy. Three ships to our one. We cut down to minimal ship power and creep forward. They might not notice us getting closer. But yes, worst case, we fight our way through. Even 
even though their star yard hasn't been running in forever. It's all ancient history now, but the Earth lost its atmosphere. It started sputtering out into space. Humanity had about 50 years to evacuate the planet. That's kind of how the United Colonies government started, managing the exodus. Earth is more or less a dust ball now. You can occasionally find a few remnants of the world we left behind on the surface, but not much. Keep your weapons ready. Never know who else might be scavenging there. were scavenging around here and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this won't be your last encounter with a spacer crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. They're even less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and
sure they had something we can use. some of that rubbish already.
badly for you. bothering to carry all that junk.
What's that?
Vanguard Moira? Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship, and I'm heading to Neptune. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. Almost daring the spaces to come after him. It's actually not a bad plan. Much better odds destroying one of their ships than fighting them all at once here. Overloaded, we should stop and prioritize what we're carrying.
Everything's five by five, Captain. Captain on carrying hand. enough. Butter there, or should we find some more?
Hi, Captain. Good to see you. Engines. Once they stall out, they have a chance. 
Am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? What? You guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories too, about a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab the artifact. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. Thanks again for the rescue. Don't know what I would have done if you hadn't jumped in. Captain on...